everyone. This is Andrew Bard, the Urban Chicken Man again, with uh, another edition of, well, this one is how to install and why to install a mason bee home. So mason bees are great pollinators. I'm going to go very quickly over this. Uh, mason bees are great pollinators. They don't like to sting. They're solitary and they're little to no maintenance. All you want to do is make sure that you install the home five to seven feet off the ground. Make sure it's south facing so it can stay somewhat warm in winter to keep the eggs they lay every winter time or every fall time warm enough to last and, and make it into the spring. And you want to put them somewhere kind of protected away from the weather. So this home right here, there's going to be a link in the uh, description of the video if you want to buy it, is by Welliver Outdoors. It's made from cedar. Any outdoor home you want to get, you want to make sure it's made from cedar. Uh, it has removable cardboard tube nests. Some of them have them glued in. And this one here, I've actually painted just to hopefully make it last a little bit longer. If you do paint it, you want to make sure you don't paint the inside. Okay, if you do paint the inside, it's still going to work for masons, mason bee homes, but you want to let it dry out and get the odor out over the course of about four to six months or mason bees will not uh, make their homes in it. I mean, they don't want to make a home that reeks of paint. So anyway, uh, oh, last thing, you also want to, uh, and don't pay attention to the screwdriver. I looked for this at the last minute before we make this video. Some jackass took my Phillips head, so I'm stuck with this one. Um, so, you know, those friends who always borrow your tools and never bring them back. Anyway, one last thing is you want to make sure that you put this thing out when conditions are 50 degrees Fahrenheit. For those guys in Europe watching this, my buddies over there in uh, Scotland, that's known as freedom units. 50 freedom units in temperature consistently for the rest of the year. Uh, after that, once they start laying eggs, it's fine. But if you want to lay in there now and they start making their nests, 50 degrees or higher. Uh, if you want to know it in Celsius, I don't know, dude. Look it up on Google. Anyway, hello, cat. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and install this. And so you don't have to watch me do this since I have nothing else to add to this video. I'll go ahead and cut it here. Thanks a lot. And, uh, oh, like, subscribe. <clears throat> I don't know why people tell you that. But if you, if you would, go ahead and like, subscribe. And you can scan the QR code in the corner if you want to ask me questions on the Facebook page. Thanks a lot.